jank little moment. Your existence is a problem for me and my religion. Defy me and I'll end your pain pitiful game. Do you mean like my save file and game of Earthbound basically? Carpenter's lightning was reflected by the Franklin badge. So if you came here earlier, he, this lightning would just stand your way, I think. But if you came here after Paul I gave you the Franklin badge, you can reduct his lightning attacks. Two back atoms, that's pretty cool. And then the real battle starts. Here's a boss battle. It's pretty easy, honestly, because if he, if he attacks with you with a lightning attack, as long as you have the Franklin badge in your inventory, you'll just shoot it right back at him, basically. So yeah, I missed Carpenter. Okay, dodge the attack. Boom bang attack. Ooh. It didn't hit anyone. Didn't hit anyone. Okay, didn't hit him that time actually when it came back. Okay, as his spears were maxed out, even though that was already maxed out. Okay, I bashed him to 56 experience points. I mean, Nesh did. He was attacked 30 HP of damage to Ness. Okay. Okay, Ness attack 61 experience. Mr. Carpenter, crushing boom attack. Didn't hit anyone. Didn't hit anyone. Oh, he's not attacking himself with his own attack. Dang it. Okay, there we go. Just keep on bashing, man. Just messed up, man. Okay, painful attack with 33 HP. Okay, let's see if this goes very back. I mean, hit some. Of course, it didn't hit him. Of course, I have to beat him with my bash attacks. And that way, just that's what I just did. Okay, so we win, yay! And that's gained 1,412 experience. Nice. Did you do you see the Manny Manny statue behind me? Since I got the statue, I have been doing particular. Uh, peculiar things. Please forgive me if you can. I just want to have, I just wanted to have a normal life. I apologize to everyone. Here's the key to open the jail in the mountain cabin, mountain cabin where Paula is being held. Take the key and go. So we get the key. Let's get the key to the cabin. Okay, cool. Even though the cabin was already unlocked, I mean, key to the cabin cage should be more specific. Specific, man. I said Pacific the first time. He he he. And then once you go back in this room, like, there's no one really here except for a couple more of these, uh, blue guys, cultists or whatever. It looks like anyone, almost everyone will walk up and left. Yeah, after you beat him, the many mass statue effects wears off on all the people who are brain controlled by it, and they just all wake up and go home. There's no, there's only three people remaining. I don't want to stay, I'll get out of here. And yet you don't move after I move. Okay, cool. Anyway, we can just move on. Let's talk to this one guy. Sorry about everything, let's, let's be buddies. I don't know if I want to be buddies with you after what I had been through with you punks. Oh, here's Pokey again. What a horrible nightmare. I somehow woke up. Ness, let's be friends again. Please answer me. I, I promise to be good. Uh, okay. I don't know if I should trust you after what you did and what you've been doing, your evil schemes. Ha, I lied. See ya, sucker. Oh, man. If you try to chase him, he, the game's program where you can't catch up to him again. So let's just go save Paul from the mouth of ca cabin cage, I guess. So, uh, I have one dollar, okay. And I learned that, um, since I donated to that, uh, charity when I first got into the Happy Happy Village from that woman, uh, actually, she gave me a postcard. She gave Ness a postcard that actually makes him sad and depressed. So, to, it makes me feel, it makes Ness feel a little homesick. So, I'm gonna call my mom, uh, just real quick, I guess. So, I can do that in the part. Um, I'm gonna withdraw, like, th two more dollars, honestly. Just have cash, I guess, for payphones. So, let me do that real quick. Okay, let's just do two dollars. Let's draw two dollars. There we go, cool. So we can go and save Paul from the mountain cabin cage now. I think I'm gonna use my skip sandwich to go there faster though. Try to avoid enemies too on the way. Uh, see both of my fresh eggs turned into chicks, and then I turned into chicken. What came first, the chicken or the egg? I still don't know the answer to that question because it's like a trick question. Like, if the chicken came before the egg, then uh, what happened, What where did that chicken come from? And if the egg came before the chicken, who laid that egg? I don't. I just don't know. I honestly don't know the answer to that little riddle. And I, it's a trick question to me, honestly. It could be obvious to you guys, but I just don't know the answer to this day. I'm, I'm being serious. I just don't know the answer. I was stored like unless I stored, stored like eight or six exp, uh, HP, and now I can run super fast. I don't know what that that sound is, but that makes me my chickens are fully hatched or something. I don't know. I this up to this point is really blind for me, except for I have played a little bit ahead where um in one of my in one of my practice files or playthroughs, it's just not really practice files, where I bring uh Paul back to um Tucson. But uh after that it's completely blind for me. Cause I'm still even going with the guide with this let's play too. Anyway, 
Ness, you got the key. Are you hurt? No, I'm not hurt, not really. I'm sorry for all the trouble I caused, I've caused you. you no, know, if you say yes or no, she'll say that line. I'm sorry all the, for the trouble I caused you. I've caused you. So now what you want to do is go to your goods and go to the key to the cabin. Use it. Ness, use the key to the cabin. Thank you, Ness. You're just like I imagined you would be. I'm sure that people in Tucson are worried about me. Getting back there may be just dangerous, but I can. But we can do it if we combine our strength. I'll be able to use my psychic power that is actually pretty deadly. Let's head back to Tucson. And then before she gets to the case, she, she has a teddy bear in there, so she'll come with a teddy bear when she joins your party. I like that sound. <laughs> Paula joined you. And that always, um... Uh, happens when you like a, new, a really good, a really important um, party member that's most likely permanent, except for the expe exception of Buzz Buzz, where um, they join your team and stuff. Oh look, the guy is spinning out of the skies right now. Okay, let's get take a picture. Pictures are taken instantaneously. I'm a picture. I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, let's get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say fuzzy pickles. Fuzzy pickles. Wow, what a great photograph. It was always bring back memories, bring back the fondest of memories. Cool. Now if you notice that um she does come with a teddy bear, like but she has thirty HP and ten PP. The same um stats we the same HP and PP amount we had when we were level one. And Ness one and Ness was level one. Whoever you name a character as a Ness uh, or if you didn't name Ness Ness, but if you named your main character, you know. So um let's go to status. She's only like level one and all our stats are two. But what she does have, which is really cool, is she has, um, if we go over to Paula. Wow, man. Do I have to go to the status then? Yeah, if we go to, um, offense, she does have P PSI freeze, which is PK freeze in the Smash Bros. games. Now, if you're wondering, Ness never wins PK freeze, and only Paula does in this game, and Ness only doesn't know PK freeze in the Smash Bros. game. But, uh, Lucas does, but in Threat Mother 3, which is Lucas's game, he does not win PK Freeze at all in that game either, in this little game. In his game adventure, I should say. His game, basically. So, just to point that out, it's only in, like, Smash Bros. for that Lucas has it. Okay, so, after that, we rescued and saved, uh, we should save Paula. So, I'm gonna call it, um, the, I'm gonna just call the end of this part. And if you, if you, if you notice, like, the buildings are no longer blue and stuff. They're actually, like, normal house colors. They're kind of green with a green roof with a, you know, beige-looking paint job, really. So, let's go save. But first, before in this part, I'm gonna call my mom, because I don't want to worry about um, being homesick later for Ness. Ness's sake. Okay, let's call mom. Hello, Ness, what's wrong? You sound so sad. Oh, yeah, because I read the postcard and bought it. The guy from an Nation woman at the beginning of Happy Happy Town. Are you homesick? Well, I knew there would be days like this. I must make you feel better. Listen to mom's sweet voice. So, did you feel any better? Well, I, I'd better get going. I'm in the middle of my ironing. Bye. Just click beep, beep, beep.